Um, rocking is a really challenging exercise. Um, I struggle with it personally because uh, a while ago I fell skiing and I have um, I had bursitis in my knee, and so I find that my rec fem is really guarded. And um, but you know through practicing a lot of mat pilates, I found I've gotten closer and closer. So I'm gonna try my best to demonstrate it for you guys. Um, but just know that I am not perfect at it, um, and it's something that I'm very much am working on myself. So I'll demonstrate the exercise and then. What I want you guys to do, instead of doing it with me at first, is just to watch and see, like use it as like a teaching tool, like where do you see I'm tight? What's preventing me from doing the exercises? And then critically think about like what else in the Pilates repertoire would help me achieve this. Um, so we'll just kind of use me as an example because that's how we learn about our bodies. So rocking, you come down on your stomach, of course, you want to be warm before you attempt this. I just did a little bit of a, I did just 35 minutes of basic Pilates. Okay, you're going to turn your, well, Joe's version is his chin is on the chest, but I'm going to turn my head to the other side. Okay, I like that version just to have this break. You're going to bend both of your knees. Okay, and then you're going to reach and grab your feet. So already this is for me, just so you guys know what's going on in my body, it's a huge stretch and I can feel my hamstrings starting to cramp. So that's the first roadblock is tightness in the quads, hindering you from bending your knees this deeply, restriction in the knee joint, bending your knees this deeply, um, and then cramping in the hamstrings. Another thing you might notice if you or your client's hip bones start leaving the mat so if they're there and you, they cannot, or you cannot push your hips into the floor, then this is gonna be as far as they go, okay, or you go, all right? So I wanna feel my hips, my ASIS, and my pubic bone pressing into the floor. Now, trying to keep your knees together, but there is a little bit of separation that can happen, you push your feet into your hands. Now, I'm gonna actually lead this exercise by pushing my feet into my hands, my chest and shoulders are going to open. I'm going to try to lift my knees and my feet upwards, upwards, upwards. And then for me today, that's as much as my um, quads are going to get. And then I'm going to lower myself down and turn my head. And I'm going to hope to get a little more range as I do a few more. Press pubic bone into the floor. Begin to push your feet into your hands and pull your hands back. Turn your head to center. And then lower down. So now we go into the rocking, and I feel the rocking should just happen naturally with breathing. So begin to push feet into hands, lift up, and then hold. Now you'll notice as I inhale, I tip back, and as I exhale, I tip forward. So I'm just gonna breathe so you can watch. So it's not like, I'm creating this momentum um, that's really for me my biggest discovery lately is um, actually just letting the rock happen with my breath same with your swan dive um, is that breath that rock can naturally happen um, with the breathing pattern what you do want to watch out for though is that that inhale that's lifting you up and back isn't because your stomach's pushing into the floor because that's one of my favorite tricks too. Um, so as you watched me do that, you noticed that, like in my mind, I would love to get my feet up a lot more, and, and when, once upon a time I could, um, but I just don't have the range anymore. So you're gonna wanna watch for that, and you're gonna wanna watch that there's no compression in the spine. So you're thinking about posteriorly tilting your pelvis as much as possible. So another thing that's gonna um, hold you back in this exercise is gonna be tightness in the shoulders. So can you even reach back and grab your feet? And when you lift your chest up, are your shoulders able to roll back? Um, so usually for me in this position, I'm a little tighter in my shoulders um, in certain parts. And so when my, I am in my start position, you can actually see my scapula is winged off of my back in order to grab my feet. So there's a compensation happening there. Okay, so just quickly, Let's talk about some exercises that can help prepare us for rocking. 
So of course you could just practice the start position and like stay starting with the start position, you know, um, for a long time. But our double leg kick um, is an excellent exercise because you're practicing getting the pelvis into the mat, the knees in flexion and the hip in extension, and also you're practicing this range of motion. Um, so I think that would be a really great one to explore if uh, rocking isn't working for you. Um, another good thing to practice or have in your practice would be your thigh stretch. Um, and you are, because then you're practicing again, having that posterior tilt, um, stretching your quads and your hip flexors while your knee is going into flexion. Um, and then, what was the other one I was gonna suggest? Um, thigh stretch at shoulder bridge. Um, another, you know, you just think about the fundamentals. And then if you're in the Pilates studio, like all of your um, all of your exercises where your arms are behind your back, that's gonna help bring that mobility with the ribs closed. Um, you know, your swan, there's so many exercises. So I really think that if you're struggling with an exercise, looking at it and picking it apart and maybe filming yourself and looking and being like, okay, well, what piece of it am I missing? Like, is it your shoulders that are holding you back? Then you're gonna wanna go and look at those exercises, like having, you know, with the wonder chair, having your arms behind your back um, and all of those kinds of things. So I hope you guys found that helpful and I hope it was helpful to see someone that can't really do it, attempt it. Um, it certainly improved a lot. I couldn't even grab my feet. So I think just whenever we're struggling with an exercise, Keep doing your mat pilates because it's going to make you better and better and stronger and stronger so happy rocking uh, and have a good day guys thanks for watching